There is a candle in every soul, some brightly burning, some dark and cold. There is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites the
I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I can give a flavor of God. I seize on the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. Salt of the earth. I'm the salt of the earth. Yeah. I carry the flavor oh. of God. I seize on the earth. Yeah. I'm the city, city. I am the city, seat of the high hill, like a yeast. I see from the world. I am rich. I am rich. I am prosperous. I am blessed. I'm the light of the world. I'm the light of the world. The light of the world. I'm the light of the world. I shine a light.
Hallelujah. You may be seated. Let us give a mighty hand clap to the Lord. It's really... Somber in here, uh, and uh, the environment doesn't seem quite Pentecostal. Hallelujah. So we are going to give a shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. If you agree with me, we are going to shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, that is more like it. Amen. Hallelujah. You're welcome to the COP launch. Uh, for those of you who are here in COP for the first time, that is the Confederation of Pentecostal and Evangelical Ministries. Hallelujah. Amen. You give a hand clap to the Lord for that. <laughs> and our slogan is centering on Christ and the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Our guest of honor is already in the house. The Apostle Joseph at Elias Mwingira of uh, Ephesa Church in Tanzania. <laughs> also in our midst are elders in the faith in the church in Uganda. We have uh, the presiding apostle of the born again faith present here, uh, the Dr. Joseph Serada. We have uh, Bishop Chiganda in the house. Now, among us are many apostles, bishops, pastors, evangelists, prophets, and teachers. Give them all a mighty hand clap. Also in our midst, uh, Dignitaries from the central and local governments, kindly give them a hand clap. Now, COP launch falls on a day in Uganda we call Heroes Day. If you're not a Ugandan and you're here, uh, perhaps that might so sound strange to you, but uh, today we mark Heroes Day. Uh, heroes come from different facets of society, uh, but uh, uh, we celebrate them today as a nation. Now, in our midst, we have a hero, uh, somebody that has been decorated by the government of Uganda. She's a retired commissioner for employment services in the Ministry of Gender, Labor, and Social Development. She's won the award and medal for outstanding service in the area of research. Please. Yes, keep the hands coming, please. Don't stop, don't stop. Okay. Please, uh, put your hands together. And welcome with me as she sings, Rejoice, O Greatly, Daughter of Zion from Handel's Messiah, inspired by the scripture from Zechariah 9.9, Miss Harriet Luima. Before she does that, before she does that, in our midst also uh, is uh, Bishop Nassan Ibrahim from Barara. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the mighty King.
Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, hallelujah. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. We give him glory and we worship him. Our guest of honor and my brother, 
Posoja Hasafat Elias Mwingira my spiritual brothers bishops beginning with the presiding apostle of the born again faith <laughs> apostle Joseph Serada and my brother in law in Meki <laughs> believe it or not my young brother, Pastor Bishop David Livingstone Chiganda. <laughs> the presiding of uh, apostle over the pastor's platform. Bishop Ib Nathan Ibrahim, all the way from Barara. My brother, Martin Sempa. All bishops, all prophets, evangelists, pastors, elders, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, um, I'm supposed to be contained by my script, but I feel like I need liberty to say some things in my, from my heart while, how I feel this morning. I want you to wave to the Lord a little bit. Ah, glory to God. Now, this is a very special day in my life. Two years ago, something happened. Two crested cranes landed in the compound of our church. When these birds landed, I was in my office and I could see them in the middle of the compound. Then they strode to the front door right there, which was closed, and they began pecking the door. And as they were pecking, one of the pastors here ran to see who is knocking. And it was two crested cranes. I believe they were pecking at their reflection. And the pastor called me and he said, Pastor, the crested cranes are knocking on the front door of the church. And we laughed and then followed with the pastoral meeting the following week. It came up in our agenda and we gave ourselves a task to interpret uh, the crested cranes coming to a compound and moving to the front door and knocking. And with quick interpretation, we were able to say that the Lord is sending Uganda to Omega. Now, I will skip a lot of information that happened since that that incident but just I think three weeks ago that is after a year the crested crane came back and Uganda is here you can't believe the joy I have this morning to stand here to make a few remarks before I invite the guest of honor to come and bring a keynote someone for the event. If you walked into this building this morning, I believe you walked straight into the pages of the history of the Church of Uganda. And you are a history maker. God is working something new in this nation and we need to flow with him. About 1,000 years before the birth of Christ, there was a war in Judah, Sokot, where the giant of Gath stood in the valley and abused 
the armies of God. He called them every name you could imagine. He changed the battle strategies. He defied the children of God for 40 days and 40 nights. And when you read from that chapter, chapter 16 of Samuel, you see something beginning not at the front line, but at the home of Jesse, when Jesse chooses one of his sons because three of them had gone for war. The Bible says they had followed Saul to the battleground. And Jesse took his son David and charged him with the responsibility to go to the battlefront as he and many other who remained home supplied food and things for the battle. And in the verse 16, he, he, had, he encouraged David to take food for his brothers and particularly, interestingly, to take cheese for the commander because he believed by now his voice must be hoarse. And he says to him, finally, bring some news. Bring news about what's going on at the battlefront. And David went to the battlefront. And you know, you are Bible readers. There was no battle going on. But Israel was supplying food for 40 days and 40 nights. No blood, no stampede, no manner of action except one man, Goliath, who was standing in the valley, about 6, 20 feet or 21 feet tall, caked in all this armor and calling every name to the children of Israel. I'm trying to answer why COP has come. And I'm saying there is reason why COP has come. In 1 Samuel 17, Eliab, the oldest brother of David, had him asking questions and he burnt with anger. And he said, why have you come here? It's clear there was a battle going on, but Eliab had not yet understood that the battle had to be won. Why are you here? And this answers the question many people are asking. Many people are asking, why COP? Why are we here? Sorry for that. Questions are being asked. Why are we here? And I'm not going to labor long because it's clear Goliath is in the valley. And it's no offense that there are many trying to fight Goliath but added strength is added victory. And so we come for that matter as we shall be, we shall be explaining in a little bit. We come and I told the organizing team to present our agenda clear in pictures written all over us that even before anything is spoken, Goliath may be clear. 
And it is undeniable that as I was seated in my office praying and meditating on the future of the church in Uganda, nine major ch challenges stood up, stood out. And one of them is cohesion. The coming together of the body of Christ at any cost. Knowing that the most important thing, Goliath must come down. For the last one year, I hit the road, went around Uganda, visited every district I could, except those in Lake Victoria. And my conclusion is, we needed added strength, we needed wisdom, we need cohesion, we need meaningful dialogue. Because we are saturated, we are challenged, we are weak, and we are going stale, and we have a battle to fight. So cohesion, I see the future where we come together and talk, engage intellectually, engage on issues which challenge us. It is not about muscles and how many cars we have. It's about what is happening on the battleground. I would have counted spears which the army of Israel came with, but the issue is not how many spears, how many shields were in that valley. The point is, was Goliath down? And if Goliath is not down, then we need to marshal more strength and welcome more soldiers into the valley. There's need for communication. There is need for cash. Friends, the church is getting poorer in Uganda. And is there no way we can sit together as churches to begin sorting out not prosperity of the pastors, but prosperity of the church? Is there no solution for that? There is need for Christ-centeredness. And we are seeing that as a major See, How do we refocus ourselves from petty things and center everything on Christ again? We need to look at capacity building. We need to look at training, coaching. How can we make ourselves better? We, and we realize many of us are very skilled, very schooled, but we are not helping one another out of the whole. We need to help one another. So capacity building, construction. I did a survey secretly, evaluated the way our pastors are staying and sleeping. Our pastors do not have homes. They don't have houses. They are poor. Is there no way the church can begin to help pastors having their homes, especially those who are retiring? Is there no way? I was listening to the radio and I heard the Kingdom of Buganda planning to build 50 houses every year. Kingdom of Toro trying to build 40 houses every year. How many houses will the church build? Are we aware of the pain? We're looking at community transformation. Is it a very hard task? Is it something we cannot do? We are looking at celebrating the, the great men in our midst. What I know about Christians and born again in, in Uganda, they waste a lot of time fighting those who are getting up. Is there no way of celebrating those who have achieved something. <laughs> Lastly, we focus on conciliation. Some of us who have been in the gospel here for the last 35, 40 years, we have definitely fought with someone unless you are not an active preacher. If you are an active preacher and you have a soul, you must have disagreed with someone and that someone may be in this building. 
otherwise unless you do not have the feelings and the knowledge of what's going so we we have we have clashed at all ages i got i became a preacher when i was 19 i'm 62 and i'm a living dynamic hormone filled holy ghost filled preacher and I've fought many of the people that I thought were wrong. But I've never hated them because I fight on purpose. I don't hate persons. I deal with the issues. Yeah. It is reflected in the way I relate with my brethren in this city. No one has got a telephone. A, a, a video recording of Michael Chazze abusing anyone. No one. They only imagine it because my presence is imposing. I do not, I do not fight with the people. I fight with ideas. And I challenge the body of Christ to rise that we may debate. We may discuss and come out clear on what divides us. So for many years we have fought, but thank God, for me, people fight, but no one can really say I'm their enemy. They're, they may not like me, but I'm not their enemy. That's why in my campaign, I enjoyed the support of very many pastors in Uganda. And I want you to clap for that. I enjoyed financial and spiritual support. I will mention a few people for the honor I give to God for these men. I enjoyed the support and, and funding of my brother David Chiganda. I enjoyed the funding and support of my brother Stephen Sebiala. I enjoyed the funding and support from my brother Jackson Senyonga. I enjoyed the support and airtime from my brother Joseph Serrada. I enjoyed the support of my brother um, Nathan Ibrahim. I enjoyed the support of my brother Zechariah Serada. So, my leadership is not to elevate any party, but I'm seeking to confederate. Confederation doesn't remove your shape, it just gives you a table to sit on and you talk. And that is what we are seeking. We are we are not even breaking any, any organization unless it chooses to break. But we are seeking a, a platform where we can come together and plan for the revival of Uganda. I was told to say a few words and I, I want to end with those remarks. Because I feel my vibes are being charged. <laughs> this morning we are privileged to have a man of God who is going to take us in a moment of the word. This man is a unique man. I met him 20 years ago. He came when I was in my lowest state. We had an effort of building a church building and we divided our groups, ourselves into two groups. The team, I left home and I went for funding all over the place looking for things, materials to build wherever I could. And in the process of building, when we came to the stage of roofing, the building came down. And those who were here saw it come down. It came down in slow motion. It was one pillar that gave way. 
and it pulled the rest of the building down. You could watch it for 20 minutes coming down. A few days later, that's when Bishop Mwingila arrived on this site. And I don't know, he, he was looking for me and I didn't know him. And we both were not doing very well financially. <laughs> but from there, a relationship developed. I went to Tanzania and I was exposed to the magnificent ministry of Bishop Moingila. Then he was traveling by road. He would drive and come here in his land cruiser with two land cruisers. And he made me realize strength I did not know. One time he arrived and he said, Michael, our cars broke down and we went downtown and we told them we need spares and they gave us spares and we, repair, we, re, we, we got our cars repaired and we told them, Michael, Charles, they will pay. <laughs> and I didn't know that people downtown know me and they allowed such an exchange. But then, many, again, the second time when Bishop came here, he took me to Kenya. He, he just drove in here and said, Michael, the Lord says we go. I said, where? He said, we are going to Kenya. And we hit the road. In the clothes we are in, we went to Kenya for ministry. Suddenly, I just told Christine, Mwingira has taken me away. <laughs> And in these years of working together, I have seen the magnificent hand of God on the life of this man. Uh, when I was thinking about guests of honor, you know the temptation is, why don't you invite a politician? Why don't you invite? But the Spirit of the Lord told me, you need someone with an overflowing anointing. You need, you need a deposit to come upon the body of Christ. And so when we listed all the guests, I prayed about the guest list, the chief guest list, and I concluded in my heart that God wanted us to have Apostle Mwingila in Uganda now. I made a call and he responded positively. But that is, you know, in a very busy schedule. He said, Michael, I'm coming. I almost fell off my seat. And I'm honored this day to have him. Bishop Mwingila pastors a father ministry, churches over, there are over 6,000 churches in Tanzania. He's a man who doesn't lead from his office, but leads by going to the churches in every area in Tanzania. Tanzania is almost four times Uganda. But this man has driven to every corner of Tanzania and ministered to churches there. Last year, I was part of a conference of 6,000, not evangelistically speaking, but realistically speaking. I touched 6,000 living pastors in one building. Amen. He is an excellent preacher. One time I went to visit him and we were many big preachers there. Most of the preachers were bigger than me. And um, he was giving us five-star hotel um, accommodation, executive hosting. When I went to the place where we were, he was staying in the building with 6,000 people preachers praying every day for over five hours. And he asked me, Michael, where are you going to stay? Are you going to, to Da? There are hotels there. I fixed your room. I said, no, I cannot leave the place where the anointing is. So I stayed with him there and we did wonderful preaching there. God has prospered him I have, with my eyes, I've seen him and I'm seeing him building a city. A city in Da. He is a farmer, 
and he was sharing with me recently he's dealing with farming and he has a size of farm of 21 kilometers he is a father he is married he is called to do great things in Africa he goes around helping African preachers to have a good beginning I thought cross-pollinating with such an anointing would be a great thing. So this morning, I would like to request you to get to your feet. And will you welcome with me with a big applause, Apostle Jehoshaphat Mwingila to come. Please, louder than that, louder than that. Louder than that. Louder than that. Amen. Greet your neighbor, Jambo. Baria Subuhi. We are Tanzanians, you are Ugandans, but all we are East African fellows. So greet your neighbor for my behalf, on my behalf. Greet your neighbor and tell the guy I love him. The one thing I want, I was looking is I was looking to see ladies how they look like. Because if you have the wife who are not welcoming the husband, you know their face. They are ugly. <laughs> so I wanted to see the ladies first if the man can preach well. So look the wife, how they look like. And you understand how the guy is. So to me, I was watching you ladies to see if your husband treating you very well or not. So I discovered something. This is African style. But we need to walk in God's way, not African style. Are we together? So, are you there with your wife, you pastors? So, I was watching Serwada, my friend. We met him many times, and then he came to Dar es Salaam preaching the gospel years back. You remember? Uh, November Crusade, eh? Yeah. And then we met in South Africa in the Apostles. Council of Africa. I'm the member there. Chaze. You know, Michael, I love you. I love your heart. I love your heart. I have friends here like Senyonga. We know to each other and other ministers. But to you, I don't know what happened to my heart. 
just the Lord said to me, find this man. That time you would be <laughs> somewhere there, like you want to run away from this city. The life of that time was, hey, no. But the way you look, the work of the kingdom is how I love you. Said, so what I have to been to your place without your knowledge. I came to visit your place there and walking there and seeing what is going on years back. I loved to drive my car around the East Africa and the northern like Zambia, Malawi, because I have churches around there. God have given us the opportunity to open churches around Africa, around Pakistan and India, and Europe and America. But we train our own people and send them there. We pay their things and buy the lands there and build some building there and do the work. I don't know what. You will bear with me because you invited me. Some things I'm going to tell maybe will never be good to you but is good for the kingdom. If you are the son or daughters in that kingdom, you will like it. But if you are intruder, you will feel like I'm against you. So let me be against you if you are not there. Because I'm fed up with the things which are going on in the church. I want to see church dominating the world. As you said before I started preaching, I don't want to see poor people. I don't like it. Because poverty is demonic. I tell you the truth. Poverty is not part of God. So if not part of God, because God said, if you serve me, I will bless you. When you read the Bible, all the people who were chosen, God said, blessing, I'm going to bless you. He said to Adam when he created him, blessing is yours. He blessed them. You come to, to Abraham, he said, blessing is yours. To all leaders, to all preachers, he commanded to them to have blessing. So when now you see people, you can see this having ties, but no money. I tell you the truth. You have tie, you know, with good suit, but in the renting place, you're hiring somebody's house, and you started <coughs> in somebody's house. I, I don't understand. You understand? You cannot sing a song in the fallen place. Israelites, they refused to sing the song to the king of kings because they were foreign land. How do you pray and praise God in somebody's house? How? Ask your neighbor, how? You know what? I'm not going to allow you to sit because you have nothing to sit for. <laughs> so open your Bible while you are standing. I'm Tanzanian, but not, I'm, I'm not Tanzanian. I'm a man of God. And I'm your relative, my friend. We look like when we meet somewhere and these other people will ask, where are you from? 
Nobody will know you are Tanzanians. We look like. Are we together? We look like. So, I have authority to talk anything about you. Okay. Let us pray. Father, I commit myself unto your hand when I speak to your people. Lord Jesus, I submit myself unto you when you use me for these people. Holy Spirit, I allow you now to take charge over my mouth, over my eyes, so that I can see what is going on to these people. Use my ear to hear the cry. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. May be seated. One thing I would like to tell you, I need everybody to take his seat, no walking. If you walk, I will chase you out from this place. First of all, we need to honor the king of kings. So take your seat. No ushers, sit down. So that you can listen. One thing my friends. Is this. We think when we teach our people. They are listening. No. Until they are settled. They can hear. But if the man mind is not settled. They cannot hear. Okay, why are we here? I heard from my friend Michael saying that you are here to focus on those areas. Can you show me, please, that one? The core value? That one. Cohesion, communication, Christ centered. Cash, I like it. Say cash. Okay. I would like to start with that one. My friend, this is what transformed me. This one. I would I was a Roman Catholic, by the way, and then when I was doing the business in northern of Tanzania, I was worshiping with the Lutheran church. So there I met Jesus, who appeared to my room when I was drunk with a lady at the room. And Jesus appeared there. How ambushed you will. So I was ambushed there. And Jesus said, this lady, after seeing Jesus, she ran away. I was remaining. And Jesus looked at me and said, leave what you are doing. Serve me. And then I said, Lord, I can't. I'm a sinner. And then he said, who told you that you are a sinner? I said, I know myself. I know. I'm a sinner. And then he said, look at me. He showed me his hands and his legs. And he opened 
you know, the chest. And I saw that thing. And then he said, I paid your sin. Save me. And this is, was my start. You know, this is not the story, it's real. It's how I met Jesus. Nobody testified me that I could repent, but Jesus came to me. From there, things was going on. And then Lutheran Church picked me and sent me to the Bible school. And then I was there and then I started priesthood for some years. And then Jesus came back again and said to me, hey, leave the work. Do what I called you to do. I said, but I'm preaching the gospel and people are getting healed. He said, no, 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 no. The people are mine, but the work is not mine. Oh, okay. So I left the, the church and started this work I'm doing. I started with a humble manner. You know why? I took the stool. You know stool at the house? Like that one? The small one? I was using that stool sitting there. But if I want to write, I sit down. That stool becomes my table. If guest comes, I give that stool. I sit down or I stand talking. After a month, somebody saw it. He decided to buy table and the chair and the guest tables for me. And from there, here I am. <laughs> Don't worry, you pastors here. Just obey with two things, three things. Be faithful, be obedient, and committed. Three things. Faithfulness, obedience, and commitment. Commit yourself. You will never, never be the same. Never. So I started like that. Here I am. What am I saying here? Last week, two weeks ago, I was in South Africa. I was invited to talk to the pastors. They wanted to form the organization, organization like you. So they, they were thinking what, which one they can invite to talk to the pastor so that they can collide and move. And then after prayer, they got my name. So I went there. I did the challenge. <laughs> so I don't know why am I invited to challenge them, but I think this is God. So when I was thinking about my, my friend Michael, I said, I know Michael, he's good. God, use him for the kingdom in Uganda so that we can have the, you know, collision in Af East Africa so that we go around, take the East Africa for the kingdom of God. But we need somebody to stand for that nation and the people join him and for us, we go there and help him, and them come to Tanzania, help us. We move. We move. We move. So when I was in, the, in my farm, thinking about that, while my tractors, they were doing work, and then the phone came. I knew this is the man. And then he said, there is this and this and this. Can you come, my friend? I said, 
without no delay, I will be there. So I was um, planning to come in yesterday in the afternoon, but my pilot did not feel well. So I said, let us take another transport to come. So we use your, your jet, your aeroplane, Uganda airline. They are good, you. They are good. Very nice one. Especially when you sit in the, in the business class. When you are there, you enjoy some issues. But it is good to have your own. My friend Michael said, what the? I didn't know that. Why president, they use their own aircraft? Because you go around the country or the continent or the around the world easily. So when Jesus said to me, now go and look a low plane, I said, what? He said, go. So I went. After having it, you know, I travel to Europe while I'm just eating there, going to toilet there. You, you know, it is good when you go. You keep the anointing. You protect the anointing. So when you land, there is no, well, la, 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 no. You keep the anointing. So I fry with my own. I thank God for that. And let me tell you, the church did not, the church did not contribute even a single pen. I bought myself. I tell you, the preacher without money, nobody will listen to you. Even the demons who are higher in, in, in positions, just demons, they don't listen. I tell you the truth. I remember when I was in that level, no money. You drive demons, but principalities, they tell you, don't, you cannot build the house here. You cannot do that. You, but if you have money, they say, oh, yeah, you want to build it here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because there is money you pay off. So I'm here just to make you understand the position which Jesus gave to the church. He did not design his church to be a slave. Not at all. He wanted the church to be the commander, commanding things. So let us move to the Bible. In the book of Matthew 28, 19 to 20, the Bible says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of all the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. When Jesus when Jesus will be with you. Jesus will be with us when we do this, this thing. We bring the people to his kingdom. This is number one. But <laughs> when you go to the book of Mark, it says, Go ye, verse 16, uh, chapter 16, verse 15. It says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Here, it's added another word, creatures. 
preach the gospel to all creatures. There, he said to all nations, I will, leave, I will give you the laboration a little bit. When he said all creation means the bed, the kettle, the fish, everything which is alive, created being, is we call them what? Creature. How many here you have kettle for milking? You buy milk, isn't it? How many of you, you have chicken? Always you buy. But here he said, go and influence the, the, the creatures. <laughs> so after understanding this, I came to understand that I have to have the kettle, I have to have the kitchen, I have, every day we'll slaughter our own ch ch chicken. Because do you know local chickens? My wife have more than 2,000 chicken. More than that. So every day we slaughter. I have kept, you know, goats and lamb more than a thousand. So we slaughter every day. You know, there is, we don't buy. This is the eighth year, 18 years. We have never bought a meat. Not at all. Because the influence here, he said, go here and influence the creatures. So when I'm back home, in the evening, sometimes I sit there in my compound in Dar es Salaam or in, in Kibaha, you know. You have been to Kibaha and Dar es Salaam. So I live with near the beach, you know, from mine, my home to the beach is just 100 meters. So I enjoy the breath. So the former president came there, he said, you live in this place like a, a state house. I said, why not? Because it is a big place near the beach. So when you come to Kibai, you find the big, big land. It's like 500 areas, acres, where my center is now. So, when I'm there, the kitchen will come, start dancing, slaughter me, slaughter me, slaughter me, slaughter me. All the creatures are happy with me. So you need <laughs> to understand the Bible. Tell your neighbor, understand the Bible. So when you, when I go back, where my big land is in Kiba, 40 kilometers from the city where we do meeting and whatever. The gods, the lamb, start dancing. Hey, this is my time to be slaughtered. Hey! You know, sometimes I look at it, I tell my wife, this is the grace of God. But you cannot reach that level if you are not faithful. If you are not obedient. If you are not dedicated. For 18 years we have never bought the milk. We have a lot. So when you come to Kiba, I have a a, a, you know, like a dam. Two kilometers long. Where we get, we, we, we have waters and bottling industry. Like this water, we have our own. Why not? Tell your neighbor, why not? You know, when the you know, God cannot listen to the poor. Read the Bible. Even Jesus did not use the poor. When he was delivering them, you know what he did? 
they tell, Lord, allow me to follow you. Say, hey, 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 no. Go home. <laughs> you know, the preachers, we fail to understand the Bible. The main objective of my teaching is this. We need to follow the commander, what Jesus said. Jesus said, go here. When you read Luke chapter 10, he commanded his people to go. He specified where to go. Not in the streets. He said, go to anybody, anybody who welcomed you, enter in that house. So number one, you cannot go anywhere unless that man has a house. Secondly, he said, when you get there, when they prepare a food, eat. It means the people we need to testify to, they have need food to feed us. It was these days, we preach to the people, when we finish, we need to give them fare. Ah, no. 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 Jesus did not do that. Show me where Jesus went to the poor. Where? Show me. This is the pastors now. Can you show me Selawada here? Where Jesus went to the poor? Here. Nowhere. 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 So it means we lack understanding. The poor followed Jesus. Jesus went to the rich. But the poor followed them. So I don't like how preachers go to the poor. We need to go to these people, big people, so that we can get something and feed these people who are following us. So Jesus went to the people, very meaningful people, well meaningful people, and then he commanded them to receive him, and then Jesus got them. You know, when he went to the Jericho, you know that, that man, eh? Lazarus, Zacchaeus, and Jesus entered there. Do you think this man was poor? Jesus said, oh, today I'm coming to your house. Hallelujah. Because he saw he has many people following him and they're hungry. So he was looking where to go and feed these people. This is where the ministers fell to understand. The poor followed Jesus. But Jesus went to the big guys. So don't tell me to seek these poor people in the streets. No, I go to the big. See what will happen. Do you get it? You pastors under, take that understanding. So we have many poor in the church. And we don't know how to help them. So I was reading your, your core, you know, core value. I saw that core value. How are you going to influence them? How are you going to build the, 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 the move? How are you going to move? While yourself, you don't, know have, you don't have much money. Listen. I go to, uh, to Europe. I buy my ticket. I travel. Sometimes I use my, uh, my jet. When I get there, I, I don't tell them to, to pay my fuel. Now, when you read Luke 11, Luke 11, 
22:24 he said it talks about to deliver people make them free to make people free is easy but to keep them free is not easy is not easy here i want to give you one thing that you may understand john 10:10 10, 10. he said <laughs> he said the devil comes to steal to kill and destroy isn't it this is his work coming stealing killing and do what destroy so when as a pastor you have a wife and children devil is there will come and steal your joy steal your move of finances destroy your plans of living he is able for that kind. So what do you do now? At the church, we need to be a commander. Say the, a commander. You cannot command if you are not a commander. Until you become a commander, you can command. You understand? So how many people church people, leaders or church people are commanders in the move. How do you know that you are a commander? Things you speak will happen. Now, you are making collision. It is good. But collision cannot work properly if the members of that collision are not commanders. But by it will start. You understand? You will talk to each other against. Why? You know, poverty is another tool which devil uses. And the politicians always, when they see the move, they are able to come and steal your move, kill your move, destroy your move. In my church, say, that man church, I will never take politician and come to my pulpit and say something. <laughs> never. Keep them there. I take another, you know, and put them there. Let them speak there. Here is a holy place. <laughs> this is the confusion of the church. How comes you take the holy place and you take these politicians? You don't know where they slept yesterday. And you drive them, you keep them here. Oh, now Mr. So, 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 come at the pulpit and speak. They, this, they spoil the anointing. And from there, you can't see the move of the Holy Spirit bringing money to your church. You, you have nasted your church and all your people become so poor. I say no. This pulpit is for ministers. This is where the problem starts. You don't know where this nasty started. It starts here when the pastor think to bring Mr. So and So So to the pulpit is makes sense. No. Let me say this. Until the church faithful to God, obedience to God, and committed to God, the church 
church will never prosper. I told my people must work hard. The church people must work hard. Work hard. Especially a minister. Work hard. I don't take money from the church. No. God has blessed me. You, you know, I'm not a poor man. <laughs> you, know, you know, when you come to Tanzania, I'm not a poor. I'm among the rich. You look at me. <laughs> I'm a businessman, my friend. I'm a farmer. The church also, we have, we have the, you know, we have projects in the church. The church has the security company, insurance company. We have some, you know, the, the, the money, uh, borrowing money entity. We have water industry for the church and many things. But also, the church has the land, 25,000 acres. So, the church must own Tell your neighbor, the church must own. So the church, as the church must be the, 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 the example so that when the members come to church, they see that thing. When you come to Dar es Salaam, we have, you know, Serawada, Serawada, you know, in Dar es Salaam, we have 130 churches around Dar es Salaam. 130 around Dar es Salaam and all have our own building no rented place we have never rented a place at all why am I saying this I want to tickle your mind in the church, we don't buy little, little place. The little place is one acre. So when people come to church and see big compound, they understand, oh, I need to be bigger. You open their eyes, you open their mind so that they can see, oh, Okay, I should be like this. You understand? You understand? But my own, I have my own business. I build houses and I rent to the banks and the offices. So every year from that houses, I get more a million something dollars every year from that renting and other businesses not one and I use people to do it you can't see me there in my office I always sign the check for the salary, wages. Every month, I pay 2,700 people. Yeah. Employment. Why the church are just begging, 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 please, please give, please give, please give, please give. So the church must employ. One of my, my, my pilot is Muslim. Yeah. I 
wanted to show Muslims that I can pay them. So the Muslim respecting me. When I meet these leaders in the, in the religion, leaders, when you come to our country, <laughs> the people who are respected, we are three, me, Cardinal of Roman Catholic, and the leader of Muslim. So, why am I talking to you leaders here? You cannot make Jesus respected in this country until the leaders in the church, they climb to the mountain. <laughs> Must be born again leaders go higher. In the country there who have a jet, the big, you can fly to any country. We are just two. Some other they have these propellers. <laughs> so we are just two. Me and the president. <laughs> so respect must come. They understand that these people are not playing game. They mean it. So you have to stand and shout, yeah! Stand up and say, yeah. yeah. Sit down. You want to influence my friend, you want to influence this nation while you are poor. You can't. You will influence the poor people. Because, tell me, if you, you want to influence the government, how? But there, when the government builds the, the school, we go there, we said, okay, you are building school here. We give you two, three classes. We pay them and we build. We, in the hospital, we give them mattress and whatever. That, right. Police, we give them car. We, we do this, and the police say, ah, the boss is coming. So when they, you are there, the police commander, they do like this, hallelujah. Because you pay something to them. You, which one are you going to influence my friend Michael while you are poor? You influence no one. You know, I love the move. But to me, I'm not concerned about the move. I'm concerning about you, Michael, about you, leaders. How are you standing tall so that people can see Jesus is there? Because we carry Jesus not down there. He said, take your lamb, put it up there so everybody can see. We are the light of this world. We are the light of this world. Can you stand up and say yes? Yeah? Yeah. Sit down. How comes we can influence this nation? When stupid corona started, I went around of Tanzania to put a mark that no stupid corona can enter our country. After finishing them, I stayed at my camp there in Kiba. I stayed there two weeks. And the government ordered all the churches to stay in, to worship with, with distance. And wearing this stupid mask. So I watched it. I said, God, what is this? He said, take charge over. So I went to my church. I said, in the name of Jesus, come closer. 
And then I rebuked that corona. And the president was watching when he was at his home. Seeing me rebuking that stupid corona. And I said, how dare you come to church? Lord, I worship you. Is your God smelling? Is your God smelling? So why are you putting this one? And you say you love God. No. You respect God. No. You are respecting Corona than respecting God. So I rebuked it. And I said, if you don't trust your, my God, stay home. But not here. You know what? President took it. And I said, I commanded this in the nation. In the evening, the president stood up. And he said, now we we'll know who is the minister of God. And who, which one is not. No mask. No distance. All the children must go to school. Because he heard me say it. And I commanded the nation. And it stopped. But here, I was, sometime I was searching you. I see you, even the minister like Selwada. Ha, 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 Michael, Michael, what is this? What is this? If there is no hope in the church, there is no hope in the world. This is how we treat our God. How do you treat your God like that one? And you say, I'm the minister of God, presenting God. No, you are presenting yourself. Because you don't have anything to eat. So you come to church, preach, so you can get something and you feed your children. If you stand for the kingdom of God, you are ready to die for it. So let me tell you, God cannot bring wealth to you if you are not trusted worth in the kingdom. Until the kingdom can trust you, they bring wealth to you. Because you can, you can stand for it. Wait, my friend Michael, you will come to my country, you will see, we are climbing to the top, hallelujah. We are climbing. When you come to my church now in Dar es Salaam, yes, I have like 20,000 people coming to church every Sunday, but now I'm building the, the, <laughs> the good building. With the office, because the office I'm, I'm building is going to take 10 floors. But the building is going to have this side, this side, that side. It's going to take 20 million for the church, US dollar, and another one, 18 million for the office. 38 million US. So when we talk about kingdom, we are not lying. We have to mean it and to show the world that Jesus is the Lord. One occasion, some people brought a car to me as a gift. Twelve car. One year. Twelve car I received and then handed it to some people. This year I have got three, three, four cars. Just, just, this is you and so I give to somebody. Because they bring the, the car which cannot be used by me. So, <laughs> you 
few years ago I ordered the car with the president special order. They came just two car special order me and my, the president. <laughs> what am I speaking? I'm speaking that we are carrying the king of kings. We have to show that we are the king's little king. And you tell me, you know, we present the king of kings. It means he's the king of kings. You are the king. Show me your kingship. Show me your kingship. While you are sleeping in the car, you, you are, you, the road going to your place, you have to, to wait somebody to pass out and then you go. Ah, no. So, in our compound there where we meet, Chaze knows that I put a tarmac three kilometers around the, the place because the place is big a little bit. I did not ask the church. I took my money and built that one. The tarmac one. Three kilometers and people looked at it. What? I said, yeah. Now come see here. Put a mud. Walking in the mud. The king, Michael, walking in the mud. Mr. King Michael. <laughs> For now I come to you, to you my friend. We have to, to hire a car for me. We didn't hire because anybody who comes to my church, we have a lot of cars. We don't hire the car for the guest. How? If the one we have is not enough, we pick from the ministry, from the church people. Because they have good car. Not a stupid car. So the church must understand the position, my friend. I wanted to talk to Senyonga because he's not here. Is he coming? Because I wanted to talk to him. When you go to his church, this side is this way, that side is this way. And this is the king of kings coming there to this style of church. For more than 20 something years. And he's enjoying it. How do you drive a good car. And the king of kings. Coming to meet you. In the place like this. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Until we honor the king of kings. He will never honor us. I told my... my my friend knew. He said, can you send your, your protocol team? Because they understand. 
Because when you come to Dar es Salaam, at the VIP lounge, we have special room there, me and the cardinal. Special room there. At the airport. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Why not? I carry the King of Kings. So the King of Kings must be protected. How comes I can go through all these people walking? The people came from the witch, from whatever. We push ourselves, you know. This is the bishop. Can you leave him to pass? No way. We go to the precious people. Where are they? So we go there where the pressures and the VAP people are walking and they're sitting there because we have this special man in us. His name is Jesus who created the heaven and the earth. So when we walk there, let the president know you are in. Let the minister know you are in. When the ambassadors of any, any country, they know somebody is entering, carrying the king of kings. But nobody will portion, put you there until you have these three. Faithfulness, obedience, and commitment. Faithfulness to whom? To God. And to people. And to your plan. For example, my my, my, my paper here, he sa they said they will come and pick us at nine, but they came four. These people are not committed <laughs> and are not faithful and not obedient because they were commanded to come and pick me at nine. They came at, at ten, yeah, not nine. It means they, are, they think all, all of us were stupid like them, <laughs> ignorance like them. And you want God to use you? Never. <laughs> if you cannot discipline yourself, which one are you going to discipline? Devil? No. First of all, before you discipline the devil, you discipline yourself. And then you can discipline the devil. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Because many church leaders, they want to be prayed for. I, I need your prayer. Lay hands on me. In which head? This stupid head? You want my hand to put in the stupid head? Hmm? How can I lay hands to the stupid head? It means I'm abusing my anointing. I love you. You know, Michael, when I was here, I heard the voice said, you have to come here November. So I'm coming November. For this place. I love you, my friend. I'm okay. <laughs> Glory be to the Lord in the highest. 
Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Whoever by the sing hallelujah. Whoever by the sing hallelujah. Whoever by the sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoever by the sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to the Lord in the Father. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in Omega. Whoever by the sing hallelujah. What is your name? Come here. Chiboka Enoch. You have a debt. Somebody need to be paid. You need to pay. That is why I'm saying you have a debt. And you said no, while your children are in school and you have never paid. Are they schooling half of it? No. How much is it? The balance? Mm. Eight hundred thousand. Come take it to me. The Lord said you are good men, but no money. You love the king of kings too much. And you are dedicated to the king of kings. Where are you? Having a church? Huh? In Mukono. In Mukono. And that one is your wife? Come, my baby. <laughs> Chaze? Chaze? I'm buying the instrument for them. Chaze, 
sorry for this. Somebody brought a car to me last month, but I'm going to give to this man. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Oh, everybody sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, everybody sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, everybody sing hallelujah. Listen, the car is BMW, but what you will do, if you don't have any license, make sure you go train yourself quickly and come pick your car, come with it here. I don't want anyone to drive you. Come. I love you, my son. The Lord said to me, you are very faithful. I don't know. Chazay is, is faithful? So I'm sorry the Lord has overtaken our program but it doesn't matter I, I I feel you know this ministry is driven by a team of pastors I want those pastors to come I, I don't want anything I'm not requesting for much I just want you may have a seat and let the pastors come here we are, we are going to do a few things pastors Please, when I say, let us be instant, pastors of this church. I want you to stand there. I want to. I want you to stand there. 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 I want you to stand Atenga tulino kwe bulula tuwe jemu wavu tuwe jemu bitu nyigiri za binji Muimidile buemuti Apostle I'm asking for a favor that you lay hands These are not empty heads <laughs> You stand you people to be accessed Don't, don't stand like you want us to usher you Also, I'm asking that you come. These are my backbone team. Some of them, I don't see them. I want you to 
just lay hands, something will come. We can't all of us miss the anointing. At least one of them has a tapping anointing. In science, we, we, we know the probability, the law of probability. Probably something will happen. <laughs> and as we pray for this, may it happen to all of you. Special request, sir. There's the mic if you need it. Are you ready to be served to serve the Lord? With faithfulness, obedience, and dedicate yourself to Him? Are you ready for that? You know, sometimes people don't understand the work of God can curse you or can bless you. It depends how you do that work. If you don't honor God, it's easy for you to be cast. I tell you the truth. So, your boss have told me to lay hands on you. But if you want to depart, to run away from this Omega, after my hand, don't run. You run now. Please, because I know many people who decided to go after my hands doing nothing. Father, I lay hands on this man of God and ladies of God. I know you can change their minds to focus on what you plan for them to focus on. Let them understand the call and use them for your kingdom. When they do that, I know you will prosper them. Father, I pray, let my hands go with your anointing.
God is good. Let us give God a clap offering. May God bless you. I call the members of the executive team, beginning with my deputy, um, Bishop Ivan Wanda, would you come and assume your seat here? Bishop Chidavida, would you come to the front? Bishop uh, Chikaganda, would you come? Bishop Isaiah, come to the front and have a seat. Um, Ivan, would you come? Subuga, um, Bishop Joseph, Joseph, come, Chizito. Um, Noah Serunjoji, would you come? Um, Sok is here, Enoch is here. Um, yes, Mr. Bishop Biamukama is here, yes. Um, Kaso Kasaija is he around? There, there you are. John, John Lutaga. Sorry, you didn't compile for me this list. I, it would have been easier. I'm forgetting anyone. Zephaniah, where are you? Zephaniah. Gona Hassa. Zephania Gona Hassa. Edward Kabunga, Elder Kabunga, Elder Lumala. Give special clap for my Elder Ka Bishop Luyombia, is he around? Where? I haven't seen him today. Is he around? Bishop Luyombia. Now, friends, this is for the sake of clarity. Um, today we inaugurate an organization, and uh, these there are positions that have to be created and be filled. Then we shall recall the house of God together to show you. Uh, the representation that will cover regions, will cover elders, that will cover denominations as God puts them together. Today, it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you our interim team, which has been working on this program here. And I request you to... In a little bit, I'll be introducing them in their full capacity. Um, as interims and uh, this moment as we continue in a spirit of prayer I would like to request I would like to request our guest of honor I'm sorry my brother you still have to work to come and lead a prayer for the interim team uh, Bishop Wanda is my deputy where are you Bishop Wanda he's here looking so handsome today uh, Bishop um, Isaiah Mbuga is our general secretary. Would you come, Isaiah? Please stand here and face this way. For um, our treasurer is Bishop Kaganda. And to pick out here quickly, um, our clerk is here. Oh. Okay. The clerk has been blessed with a car already. Our mobilizer, Bishop Bernard, is here in charge of doctrine, um, apologetics, and literature. My brother Dixon Ruagaba. Ivan Subuga in charge of education. And Bishop Biamkama comes in for Busoga region. In charge of logistics is Bishop uh, Serunjoji Noah. Central region, my son Paul Musoke. 
John Paul Musoke in charge of children's ministry and uh, discipleship my my cousin Sebunya Mpaji my attorney general Robert Kasaija and missions Lutaga John there is what we call structure of spiritual support we are going to run revivals in every region in Uganda we will be going region upon region and it's a group of many head of what we call the prayer engine my brother my son uh, Livingstone Wagaba my chairman in charge of everything we do is in charge of my technical support team here we are Elder, Elder Kabunga, Elder Lumala, people I should not introduce, and part of the spiritual support team, Gonahasa and Bishop Luyombia, for that matter. And this is just a skeleton of the group which is going to begin engaging for the next 100 days. We, we are not lazy people. I'm not going to be lazy on the work of God. Give me a hand. Uh, uh, and I believe that you are going to read the postmortem of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we want to pray for them. And uh, this is memorial. It launches us off. And uh, we shall be giving an offering today after this prayer. Would you lead us? Can you kneel down so that you humble yourself? the king of kings father we are here your children we are here lord jesus your servants we are here ready for the work holy spirit our leader, the commander in charge for us, we are ready to move. These are not empty head, not the stupid head. If yes, they could not be here today. They are here because they understand the call. Yes, maybe they are they were late, but you give them understanding, that is why they have decided to move. Guide them, be with them, help them, strengthen them, give them sight so that they can see where are they heading. Teach them what to do and what not to do. Make them be grateful in move. The church must advance. And the devil, his work is to prevail. But in this commitment, in this obedience, in, in this faithfulness, devil will bow and pave the way. Father, I release them to move. If anything was attacking them, stopping them, today, through the anointing of the apostolic and prophetic mandate, I remove that obstacles. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let them take charge over Uganda. Let them take charge over Uganda. All the corners of Uganda. Let them move, be like a wave. Father, I command the devil to bow, the witches to bow, the money to bow, the car to bow, the land to bow, the chiefs to bow, the people to bow, the environment to bow. I command everything that is existence in Uganda must bow. 
you are above all and this is your servant let them move as the commanders father i pray in the name of all the mighty god let them move unite them in one accord to save you to expand the kingdom of god let them move in this wave father i pray it is done it is done it is done it is done amen in the name of jesus amen amen, amen. you guys still sit there we we are we are praying for the offering then after the offering as we offer we will be unveiling afterwards our logo and this occasion will be done okay we 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 are making ready our offering if we are going to take an offering for this day Okay, mm. the, the, the offering is just offering or something which can make them move, make you move? Make because, us move. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to say I this. Was, this oh. man was talking to me. Which you one? You could, that one, that one, hey, that one. That man, that man is very anointed. Is, uh, he, he said to me, could you take the great offering today for, for this team to move oh yes and then i heard you calling me here so yes. now I'll, i'm imagining you yes they are going to clap they are going to give <laughs> money maybe you have you you feel to give a, a thousand dollar maybe not maybe you feel in your heart to, to be part of this i don't know how much in the, in, in in your I need someone more. Come, come, treasure. I want you to rapper with. Uh, he's talking about a thousand dollars, and he wants it to be translated into what? Three point seven million. Three point seven million. You're gonna share it. Three point seven. Yes, sir. If you know that you can give, or below that, maybe uh, half of it run here. Half of it. Or equal to it. Run here quickly. Quickly, maybe one million shillings in your nation. I don't know how much. You know, it is your time now to tap this anointing. Thank you, sir. Quickly, 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 quickly. I'm waiting. You don't know how it's going to happen. Maybe it is your time now to pave to the glory. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Even a million shillings Kenya, uh, Ugandan money. Come. If you can give, but you are still sitting there, there it means you are not faithful and obedience you understand because to take the 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 great anointing need obedience come 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 support this move wow you know what i'm going to do when i come I will like you to take these names when I come. Yeah. I want to see if they are not they are not moving. I will pray some prayer in November. But I want to see them growing. Come, come quickly, 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 quickly. Run, 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 run. When you come, you want to give to God. Don't think oh, you know, you know, you know. He's the one who's giving you. Show that, Lord, quickly, uh-huh, quickly, 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 
We need money to, to support this work. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. You know, we can be late for this moment, but it is important to make them move. We can do this meeting, but if they will never, they are not going to move, it means it is nothing. They need money. And where the money coming from? From you. And how you get the blessing is how you tap. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you, my friend? Listen. You cannot harvest the mango to the orange tree. Isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Isn't it? Okay, now. I'm blessed. So if I bless you, it means it is done. People, they don't understand. Run quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, now we are going to talk about 500, 500, 500,000. Um, 3.7, whatever. If you, you, you know what? Do you have any paper? Yeah, they are writing. If you're giving uh, $1,000, which is 3.7, please get on the side. One million you don't need to divide, divide them. They are here. They are faithful. They are faithful because this guy knows money. That is why he wants to come with money. You have to follow the number. Yeah. Write them and how they give. Give them their paper. They can write themselves. Quickly, 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 quickly. 500,000. Quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly, quickly. Another paper, please. Another paper. The bishop office bring paper here. Quickly. Something is happening. Thank you, sir. You have my blessing. Come quickly, come quickly. 300, thousand, 300, thousand, 200, thousand, run quickly. Let them write themselves. Bring another paper, please. Hey. You people in the Bishop House, how stingy are you? Bring papers. <laughs> I'm talking to my friend. <laughs> you know why? Always when I look at you, you're my best. I tell you. I tell you always I speak highly about you. That is why I'm here. For that short notice, it takes the grace to be here. <laughs> come, 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 come. Pastor's wife, no money. Okay, a hundred thousand. 100,000, 50,000, come, 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 come. Right there, uh, your number, uh, the, the telephone number also, you have to write there so that they can call you. Please, don't fake here. <laughs> there is anointing here. Please don't fake. Make sure you give. 
Abemi tuwale kumi na mwamusa uro kuja chake zako kunyonyola. Run, 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 run. Wow. Bishop Nasa Ibrahim. Giving you five million. Give me hands. Why are you wearing glasses? Because I, I, I am seeing you better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Keep that papers, please. Another one? Bishop William. One million. Wow. I've been trying to come in with Charlize. A hundred thousand. I'm waiting for you. Quickly, 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 quickly. Fifty. Thousand. Fifty thousand, six thousand, you just come. Can you see my friend? Can you see how many people are there and how many people are here? Now you understand that we need to do <laughs> This is our people, you know what? This is our children. Many pastors are here. Raise your hands. Back there, back there, back there. Can you stand up? All the pastors, can you stand up, please? If you, you cannot do it. What about your church? Cannot gather the money and send it you can present yourself for your church so that the church can be blessed it means your church can fail to pay even the a hundred thousand which kind of church is that one if that one is a church or gangs church If you cannot, you as you, collect from the church and send it to the, to, the, to, the, to the move, isn't it? Make the move and you make your church grow. Um, we are going to put the account numbers for COP so that you can feel free if you want to give either in dollars or shillings. They're going to be on the screen. So you write and then you can have the information on the screen. Add the papers, add the papers down there because they are coming many now. They are coming. Uh, I'll translate that in Uganda. Together we take accounts that go to screen. But we are going to come with the dollar. We take account here dollar. Eya shillings na yokuendi. Is this 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 man is Ugandan? Like Tanzanian, yeah, I'm going with you. Yeah, uh, uh, why are you coming? We are, we are talking to this two. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, 30, 20, come. Thirty, twenty. It is it, it's something. Come quickly, 
the people who want to add something okay now you people listen to me now you people come closer come closer make sure you give you understand when I come to November I want to hear from the bishop my friend that it is done so that day I'm going to pray for your life for your finance because I look at the big mansion houses are coming up but owned by other people I want you to have your own down there at the beach you understand so make sure you fulfill your desire and make it happen quickly so that these people can start moving you understand I love you all Bishop I'm going to offer you for the for your move because you are the chairman I'm going to give you 10,000 for the move start moving for a chairman to go around but for you I will know what to do because you have to move Please put the account, the accounts of Okobo on the screen. Please put them on the screen even as they're praying. Okay, now we are give, going to give the offering, the normal one. You understand? The normal one, you give what you have now. You understand? This is the normal one. But the things that you have wrote is you can give tomorrow, next tomorrow. You understand? I love you. You know what? Take charge. Oh, Kakati, a chicken of Korebach, you know, to get a qua, a chiwe, why yo, a chili general, a chorua, a mina, and to jump your bam, come on, Garons, a switchy. Nice no same way, I'm missing a knock to pushing, especially in a quiz so catch you come in, Okutambo, a guana, a mina, so got to get a qua offering, sa was you know, then I look at Savi Yakusava. Yakusava, Ariku, technical person, take a adjust or take an account to the cop, Zibereka and to Zidabe. Yes, on the right to Zidina. Ye last side, the same bed of Dalawansi. Okay, now take your offering up there. You can go to. Ah, no, 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 before you, you go there. Let me pray to you first. Do like this. Say after me, Father God in heaven, I heard from your minister that you are blessing your own people. And I seek that blessing. I want to be the center of your blessing. I want to be a disputer of your blessing. Trust me, O oh Lord. Bless me, O oh Lord. Now, not tomorrow, I'm ready to save you. When you want to go somewhere and bless somebody, bless me first. Trust me. Trust me, O oh Father. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Go and take your offering now, the normal offering. Go there. Quickly, 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 quickly. They are passing by the, the basket. Okay, now stand up with your offering. 
Bobo ina cash murete wano Ngo badozo kuwa yo sente Zona inga wabadozo ene cash Murete wano Echi, echi bochi Okay, now stand up with your offering. Your account is on the screen. Or you want to make a copy account here, you grab it. Or we can borrow it. We will do it. Mobile money numbers and as well take a focus screen. Do not squeeze your money. You have to do like this. Don't squeeze, yeah? They're going to pass that things there. Lift your head. Money like this, say, Father. This is my offering, showing my faith. When I give, I fulfill my worship in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Amen. Wait, wait. Knit down here now. Good. Hallelujah. All over you. Back up him. This is your leader, your commander. You know what? No one can command. Use this one. Sorry. No one can command. If you are not a commander. Because now you have chosen this man to be the commander. In chief. To be ahead of you. So all of you must lay hands on him. It means of what? You are subduing yourself under his command. You understand? So that the move can move. Are we together? So stretch your hands here. Heavenly Father, I pray. I need another microphone. Give me a microphone. Yeah. They pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the leadership. We thank you for the sent man of this season. We thank you, Lord, for the consecrated man of this season. We thank you for the vision and the burden, for the insight and the grace that you have granted Bishop Michael to lead your oh God, to, be, to lead COB, the Confederation of Pentecostals and Evangelical Ministries in Uganda. Lord, we bring him to you. We dedicate him to you. By the laying of the hands of the leaders of God, by the apostolic and the prophetic mandate that is represented here, Father, we commit him to you, that this country will submit to him, that Uganda will listen to him, that the authorities, that the rulers, that the principalities, that the powers will submit to him, O oh God. And through him you will cause the fire to move in this nation, the fire of the kingdom. The revival of fire, Lord, will advance in this nation. Cause to the establishment of the kingdom of God, the establishment of the mountain of the Lord, 
in this country, Lord. And so, Lord, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Father, yes, Lord. you called me. Mm. And you gave your Michael assignment to call me. My heavenly Father, I pray the mandate that you have given to me to command. I know you have given him the commandment to command some things in his capacity. But now you are taking him to another level. Yes, Lord. Not for his ministry, mm. but for the kingdom. Mm. Many ministers are gathering together mm. under his command. Mm. So need something more. Mm. My daddy, mm. <laughs> I kneel down before you. Yes, Lord. Allow me to pass the command mm. that you have given unto me mm. and let him take it let him take it my heavenly father mm. Lord. Lord. I remember myself when I was younger mm. in the ministry. Mm. When I was struggling financially. Mm. When the government, they were pushing me everywhere mm. and stopped me doing something. Mm. But you allowed the anointing And you commanded Mori Selulo to release the anointing upon me mm. that I have never done to anybody. Mm. And he ordained me. Mm. Through that anointing, oh daddy, yes, Lord. I command things. Yes, Lord. Daddy, allow me to pass what you have given to me. <laughs> to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so when I lay hands on him he will command the anointing to go to his people to the co-workers to command things in this nation Let your hand be the hands of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Let your ear hear the voice of the commander. Let your mouth speak the authority word which can command. Let your eyes see the things in the spirit. I lay hands on you today. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. From now, no hustling about money. No hustling, no hustling, no hustling, no hustling, no hustling. In the name of Jesus.
just a few things to, to, to finish this um, there's going to be a video but before that video let us have a special song to settle us in and the video shall play thank you very much
Okusaba Okusaba kwa me Kuma Yesu ye jai Semu Semwe siga Kuma Yesu ye jai Semu Semwe siga Kuma Yesu ye jai Semu Semwe siga of member organizations while manifesting the kingdom of God. Federation of Pentecostal and Evangelical Ministries, our motto centering on Christ and the church. We are a non political, non tribal umbrella organization of denominational independent ministries that preserves identity, calling mandate and legal status of member organizations while manifesting the kingdom of God. Our anchoring scripture is Romans 15 verse 5 and it says, now may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be like-minded toward one another according to Christ Jesus. Our vision is to be a network of Christ-centered denominations and ministries holistically equipped to cause community transformation and expansion of the kingdom of God. Our mission is Christ-centered, promoting holistic ministry to Pentecostal and Evangelical churches and church organizations nationally. We aim to unite, coordinate, and empower these organizations through networking, capacity building, advocacy, and strategic partnerships with the goal of fostering national transformation. We have summarized our objectives in these nine C's. Cohesion, communication, Christ-centeredness, celebration, cash, community transformation, construction, capacity building, and conciliation. The nine seas. This is how our confederation is constituted. Local communities, local church, marketplace. Regional fraternity, denominational aids, elders, leaders from the mountains of influence. All of these constitute the General Assembly. The leaders from the mountains of influence give birth to directorates 
which were under the supervision of covenant ministers. On the other side, the spiritual ministers work to create effective spiritual ministry, including discipline and doctrine. The spiritual ministers and the covenant ministers comprise the leadership that reports directly to the national general overseer. Our elders will provide a quorum of 72 from which 24 elders will be elected to represent in the General Assembly. These elders will come from a quorum of apostolic elders, prophetic elders, pastoral elders, evangelistic elders, teaching elders, and elders emeritus who will include elders outside the fivefold ministry such as elders from the business legal and medical fields the mountains of influence will also provide a quorum of 72 from which 24 leaders will be elected to represent in the national assembly these mountains include such fields as education and sports, entertainment, government, the media, the legal fraternity, medical professionals, the diaspora, business, and commerce, academia, among others. A quorum of 72 denominational heads will also provide 24 leaders to the General Assembly. These are people who head ministries that have 10 or more churches under their wing. Under regional, provincial, district, zonal, and other fraternity leaders at their respective local levels will provide a quorum of 72 leaders from whom 24 will be elected to represent in the General Assembly. The 24 elected representatives from each of the four constituencies we have seen will form the General Assembly. From these, 12 will be elected to constitute the National Executive Committee (NEC). Thank you very much. We look forward with holy anticipation to the great future before us. God bless you. We are located on Mackay Hill Road, Plot 232, Cholaba House, opposite Mackay Full Gospel Church. You can also access us on telephone number plus 256. 400 90 34 50. Also, you can access us via our website www.corpug.org. Feel free to follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, CorpUG. May God bless you.
our dollar account number which is 103-620-293-3733. Both account numbers are registered under the name Confederation of Pentecostal and Evangelical Ministries. You can as well send us your donation through mobile money numbers 0 777-222-128 or 0709-832-333. Thank you so much for your donation and God bless you. Kindly pause those numbers on the screen. Pause the numbers, the mobile money numbers. Good afternoon. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, you ought to sound like Pentecostals. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God is good. The launch is on and uh, cold. No, no. I ask for the mobile numbers, uh, the airtel line, and and kindly mute me, mute mute the audio. On the last on the last ad, that's where I need the mobile numbers. So uh, we want to thank God for what is going on. And uh, we are grateful to God that there's a new baby born in the land. A baby is born, and like my national general overseer said, that we need more efforts, more power to tackle the enemy in the valley. Goliath must go. I said Goliath must go. Yes. Do you agree with me? Goliath must go. Yes. Amen. Now, there was no better way to get the giving of our first hundred days to move COP than what the Apostle did. It was just an amazing way. Apostle, we celebrate you in the house. And uh, God has a way of doing things, and surely he has done it. He has done it, and I know he's still doing incredible things. However, there's some information I need to pass. While we were giving, there were our friends, brothers and sisters in the diaspora who needed to know how to give and where to give. And we got a big family. And so we, we are grateful God. As, as some people already gave in their money as we were here. But they were wondering how. So I came to clarify that if you are in diaspora, whether in Europe, whether in the States, or Africa, wherever you are, please feel free to use those mobile mobile money numbers to uh, send in your contribution towards this launch. And also feel free to use the details that we provided of the accounts because we provided the bank the bank code, the security code, uh, whatever that it is, whatever is needed to be done. We also receive money in dollars, by the way, not only shillings. Amen. We are a big body, so we receive any currency in any amount. So, and we bless the Lord for that. We want to guarantee you that we are going to move this land. We are going to serve and we are going to move this land. In the name of Jesus. Right when we finish, there's a placard on the other side, on the left side, as you go out on the left side. I will ask all the members present who actually decided to be a blessing to cop you just go right there and autograph on that placard this is history in the making amen there are so many days that uh, or many times that something new comes up and we take it for granted but we want to treasure that placard and we have your signature that you attended this function and by the way thank you for coming in numbers you have overwhelmed the number we expected. We only had planned for about a thousand people, but we have exceeded over the number we needed. So uh, there are markers out there. When you go out, feel free to write your name or signature and say, that's a witness. I was there when COP was launched. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I hear some people say COP? Come on, say it louder. COP. Now say confederation of Pentecostals and Evangelical Ministries Uganda has been born. 
To God be the glory, to God be the glory. Come on, give the Lord a shout and give a hand clap to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now I want to take this privilege to let my national general overseer come over. Hallelujah. Now, this is how you begin to pray for people that God may humble them. Today, I feel so proud and I need prayers of humility today in the name of Jesus. Would you give God a prayer, a, a clap offering for making things good? Uh, I want, in a special way, um, as we, we are going to do one thing and we shall be having lunch and celebrating with music here for this day. Thank you for being patient. We lost, we lost some 30 minutes. Yes. Um, sorry. Uh, people are wondering what name is in that mobile number. That, the name in the two mobile numbers is Michael Chasse. It's a ceremonial day. We want to inaugurate with our our logo, and we want to, uh, to ask and recognize leaders who are seated here. There will be uh, some leaders who come and sign this placard. It, uh, at the beginning of this service, uh, this placard was brought in by what we called candle boys, and the candle boys were carrying lights, and the song that we sang was "Carry Your Candle." And uh, they were followed by banner bearers who are dressed like scouts, but we, are called, we call them Boy Child Initiative. Our Boy Child Initiative is a proactive way of addressing the present gender question, which is in our nation, nations actually. And the boys here are catered for and, and trained to be men. And we dress them like soldiers today and they will be bringing this placard here in the middle. Would, uh, would you please do me the favor of bringing that placard? It has four lights and the boys are bringing them. Would you give them a clap as they do this? Our Boy Child Initiative is led by Pastor Sebiala, Sebiala Betho. And he goes to schools teaching boys to be boys. And uh, we want to spread this initiative in the whole nation. And we believe one day we'll have an army dressed like this, ready to say no to homosexuality. In Jesus' name. I'm honored to recognize the presence of my brother and pastor, Honorable Abedi Wanika is seated there. I want in a special way to thank Dr. Abedi for standing with me in all situations I've been going through, uh, trying to understand myself in a new context of being a leader in this capacity. Uh, my brother, thank you and the support you have been giving me. I recognize you for that. I also want to honor my spiritual father, someone who led me to the Lord in 1981 and um, some people do not believe that I had hair in 1981 he led that version which had the hair to the Lord before my hair went to be with the Lord <laughs> this morning this afternoon I'm honored in a special way to salute uh, my spiritual father Pastor Dr. Professor Simeon Kaiwa with his beautiful wife, Syria Kaiwa. 
those are leading examples to me. I went to him um, last two months and he prayed to me and told me God had released me to lead on a new level. Only that things did not come out as we expected because God had a better context. I want to use this moment to request the men of God to escort our guest minister to come and unveil the logo and as we unveil this logo we shall take pictures and they shall sign our logo in an order which I think uh, Dr. Chidavira you will help me on this part you've been so quiet today we need Pastor Chidavira to come and stand here at the plaque and they will be given the placard uh, the, the markers after unveiling we shall the unveiling shall be done by our guest leader and they shall take turns, we shall take turns beginning with our chief guest and uh, then we shall have Dr. sorry Professor Kaiwa sign the placard it's a historical placard, we are going to seal it for history to, to remember then we shall have Dr. Chiganda come and sign the placard followed by Dr. Ibrahim Nathan then we shall go to Dr. Martin Sempa and my friend Solomon Male people don't like Solomon Male but he is my friend he will also sign on that placard and uh, we, we will honor God today in all possible ways. Um, I don't know. It's a count of three. Count of two. Pardon? All right. All right. I understand it now. Father, we are here to celebrate the move of your spirit here in Kampara, Uganda, to move around this nation. Not only that, let them cross the borders for the sake of your kingdom. When we launch this one, be with them, using them mightily in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, in the honor of His Grace, Cobb thought it wise to give our honorable diaspora 
inaugural membership award to Apostle Josephat Elias Mwingira, founder and senior pastor of Ether Churches, Matwara as a vanguard of Pan African Christian driven transformation. In recognition and appreciation of your immense contribution towards the spiritual, intellectual, educational, cultural, professional, and to get and to get all together holistic development of countless children of God across the world, we heartily recognize and cherish your sterling leadership, administrative, a scarcity, visionary, adventurous, fatherly care, boundless generosity, pastoral self selflessness, etc. Your dedicated historical service to humanity, especially the Ugandan church, and to God, all possible working together. God bless you in turn. Bishop Michael David Chelsea. Bless you, sir. Dear members on this, this historical day, our guest of honor, our chief guest, unveils the core flag and take this privilege to hand it to him so that he unveils it too. And then he gathers it back.
there is something which I cry day and night is to see people of God united and focus on the kingdom and take over the nations and make the church people prosperous. giving me this I thought it, it it would be for my people in Tanzania you have expanded me to Uganda is telling me to make available two acres of land for a father ministry in Uganda that you may become the son of the soil and I'm making two acres available in Mitiana for you in the name of Jesus Christ telling me prepare my people I want to bless them my tears is not empty it's because I heard him say let the people take charge and let them prosper you are getting there you are getting there thank you Great. Uh, let's have Professor come and append a signature of uh, our placard here now. Professor, you're welcome. In the same line, we'll have Dr. Livingstone uh, Shiganda also to come. And then uh, we'll have Dr. Nathan come, follow the same line. Just uh, this one, sir, in the front here. And sign. Thank you, Professor and Mom. Let's Dr. David Livingstone. Can we have a pause a bit? Uh, please mind cameras mind as do as people. Good. Thank you. Uh, we can have Mama. It's okay. Good. Thank you, Doctor Professor. Let's have Doctor David Livingston sign Penda's signature. There you go.
see what the Lord has done. Stand on a pause for photo. Good. See what the Lord has done. Dr. Nathan Ibrahim. What we waited for has come to pass. Uh, Reverend Martin oh, Sempa. See what we'll the have you Lord come with the a friend, uh, Dr. Abedwan, Honorable, take the step line, sir, and come over. Uh, Apostle Tony Sechansi, come on the same line, sir. Good. As we make our way here, it's a great, great opportunity to witness. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Great, you take a photo. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for. We have Reverend Malay sign. Reverend Matt, thank you. Thank you. We have Reverend Malay sign. See what the Lord has done. The honorable member of Machin de Sabagabo Municipality has also arrived. Honorable Selu Kenya is here. Uh, take that photo of Reverend uh, Then um, Honorable Dr. Abedi Wanika. Thank you, sir. Honorable Selu Kenya. We receive you, sir. You're most welcome. Could you please come alongside? Okay. Then, Dr. Kasiwe, you also come on the same line. Thank you, sir. Take a photo of the Honorable. Dr. Kasiwe will come you also on the line to append your signature. Good. Uh, also, Tony Sechans, Honorable Selu Kenya, Dr. Kasiwe, come alongside too. Has come to pass. Oh, see what the Lord has done. What we waited for. Pause for that photo, please. Ah, uh, good. Honorable, see area member of Parliament, please. Has arrived to. In we can we take you thanks, we give you praise, we give you praise, great, pause for that photo, Dr. Kaziwe, Dr. Kaziwe, where are you please, uh, come this direction, thank you, thank you, uh, we give you thanks, in all things, in all things, we give you thanks, Dr. Lumala, come please append your signature here, sir. We give you and uh, Ste uh, Edward, praise. Elder Edward Kavunga, please come. Please come. Dr. Lumala, you welcome to append your signature here. We give you uh, Elder Edward Kavunga, please come. Oh, we say thanks. I give you thanks for all you have done. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. My soul, my soul is at rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I give you thanks. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. Edward Kavunga, Elder we Edward Kavunga, Steve, where are you? I give you thanks for all you have done. I am so blessed, I am so blessed, my soul. 
Bishop Dixon, tenua, please come and append your signature here. Bishop Dixon, tenua, where are you? Come here. Bishop of Azadirwa, Bishop of Azadirwa, where are you? Bishop Katerega from Masaka, where are you? Bishop Katerega, Gustavus. I give you thanks. Pastor Freddy Kasule, where are you, sir? Come and append your signature here. Bishop Sebo jangu, oyogere yebi gambo bibiri kwe nkumanyi Otero tuwa mukisa newe gubanga Oje sebo yogere Osanga mukama anabanga oinayo mutabani wo Na jawa sa mwala wange wange Obo we wange na nyanyi Mukama yewa ziwe nyo kama eva zwe kiti wacha mukama toa galo kweva za mukama wachino ichigenda mumaso mchifochino zendo wole za daranti omoyo mtu kufu inacha anyueza waliwe ichigenda mumaso Bili kwa kristu buta ambula Manyi Fieta kabweta azikubanga Uli wa moyo Echi mara Ukutege ranti Ukufa kuruwele bedie Katonda ya luanyi sedini Ulutaru lwa katonda ni dini Uluwa soka Tulula wakumunala kwe babeli Yari hawa koze wa sasane bati Bone wa sara uba ambuke bati Nagandia haa Mujia kukonya echi intu Musasane Mwenutaro nusio kare tulaba katonda ngarute kakodi Atena na hivu ya vayu Ukusimbe echi intu Elana hivu ya chila wanga wachisimba Kusiga elimu Sefuli ya tesovola kunyue na kusiga limu Tesovola Katonda na zare guanga liba ita isi la hili Na manyani wale te chikachi mu Iba dini Na hali tebi kakumi na bimeka Aidea ya katonda hili Ntilo wacha ya galevi kabi bere kumi na bimini Yuda buwabanga na fuwa Esikara nga haimi lida Esikara kwa habana fuwa Benjamin haimi lida Bano baba na fuwa Bano baba haimi lida Yengedi katonda Katonda mugezi nyo You can't God is a military man You can't tell President Museveni today That keep all your army In Mbuya Barracks Get them all and keep them in one place. Ida kula bila wanti, weta ga kuata trees, ni weta ga kusiba. Kula biko ina choya galu mukola. How can he get all his his armies in one barracks? God cannot do that. There is no wise leader who can do that. Amani yantu runo rukero amai. Therefore, whatever is happening here is godly. That is how God fights. That's how God does his things. He can't keep, can't keep eggs in one basket. God does not do such a stupid thing. 
So I'm I'm hundred percent positive that this is a godly move. I'm 100% positive that the God is in this thing and God is doing something it takes only a blind man to fail to see this but this is godly and I hope all of us can see what the body of Christ would have lost if we lost this man it takes only a blind man to see that uh, the body of Christ wouldn't have lost anything if we lost this. I believe it was the devil who thought that uh, you can ignore this man and then the body of Christ to continue. You can't talk about the church in Uganda and you fail to mention Pastor Michael Chazé. The overseer here, the doctor, now the the interim presiding apostle. No, that's what I read on my invitation letter. Uh, I was very careful to read, to read every letter that was there. So this is a, an, an interim presiding apostle. And uh, God hasn't lost anything. He, he does, God doesn't matter even if you would have 10 of them. He need to, to have Israel, you need 12 tribes. 12 tribes to have a nation called Israel. So, to Charlie Nabatono, to Charlie Batono, to the Senator was standing where I ain't getting never yes to your car. Yeah, again, the mass. Mukama Bamper of Muxa. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for loving them. Thank you for inviting me here. I salute you and I congratulate you to have reached this far. And I believe God is into the thing. To God be the glory. Mukama eva zibu muneva lize kumana ge Bishop Chiganda. E ampate e atwa de live coverage o kuva kumacho kuto sakati to tambla live u ke TV TV e amai. Aborugana mukama yeva zibwe. Aborugana mukama yeva zibwe. Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe bwana. Goliath has fallen. Kona ko wansi. Amen. Goliath has fallen. Amen. Pastor Michael Chazi, you don't remember many years I came here I said now it's time for you to gather us here. You told me Martin the Holy Spirit will tell me. Me I was disappointed. It is many years. But even if it is late to some of us, it is better late than never. It is the day. You have ascended into your rightful place as a father in the land. And you are beginning with a new wine skin. God knew that there were some crocodiles you could not drain in the other swamp. Even Trump learned that lesson. God has caused you to ascend where there's a total new wine skin because you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. Amen. What do you want, Purina? Yeah. But you are also loving. We know you. You love us. We are very different. Various. Some of us are not even, we don't talk. But you, you talk to all of us. There are some of our friends who I don't, but you, you talk to all of them. Sometimes I think you are too loving, but thank God you are a loving man. Because you are a father, you father all of us. Wait at our faith. So the day to come home and meet our spiritual father and overseer is today. And we rejoice with you. So let the trumpet be blown in Zion. That the day has come that the tribe of Kope, that is the confessing, the confederation of Pentecostal and the band, we have come of age and we have started today. Let the enemy.
Agnes Trembo Abobo nabali ya yabate batatu wakari sa kuwela wa muturichimu Let those who cast us, let them go bagende Batushimbu de Yibili ya wakulo kame tushimbu de Tushimbu de The army of the Lord Let me hear a shout of the king among us Lift up a shout Listen, when the Ark of the Covenant came, the Philistines saw, they said, we are done. Fight like men. Because even the devil, they know, when we are united, God's time has come. Uganda is going to change. East Africa is going to change. Africa is going to change. The kings and the queens are going to take our place, their place. God bless you so much. Let's have a uh, professor emeritus as uh, Smionika you are come and talk to us. And as the professor comes, we have opened the gates of COP. You can leave this place when you are a member, when you are filled the form. And uh, our chairman behind there, there is a registration desk. You can pick those forms and fill them, and then we'll follow you up. That would be so good for us. Thank you, Professor. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Pastor Chaz, uh, Bishop Chazze, I'd like to thank you for this work that you've done for Uganda and the world. Uh, Many, many years ago, I will tell you this story because this is the right time to say it. I was uh, in university in Nairobi, my university in Nairobi. And uh, I saw in a vision that there was going to be tall people who were going to come to my house and sleep there and be led to Christ. And those told me I had never seen before. That was, I think, 1981. Uh, I never seen before, so I called my mother in law, uh, Dr. Celia's mother, uh, that she should prepare for very tall people coming from all around. And you can see me, they call me tall, but compare it. <laughs> and. Uh, it amazed me. I said, prepare for them. That same day, very tall people. Yes, say. Yes, sir. Would you come here? We were three <laughs> tall people. <laughs> and your brother my, in, in England. Yeah? England. Yeah. My brother in England. Yeah. And yes, sir, we entered the same day. Yeah. Three tall people. And uh, so this is the day that I was imagining for these people to be to be really taller than me by forming an organization like this. I humble myself before you. You are my chairman. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pray the Lord. Amen. Uh, I want to end with a little bit more that the most important thing for you in the future is to, to be able to be the way you've been for all the years, resilient. You cannot lead people without a spirit of resilience. You know, a rubber band or something, rubber, you got to sometimes stretch it to its limit and then it retains its original shape. Always. That's what you're going to be doing all the time. You're going to be stretched and stretched. And you'll cry, I think you will. Good thing you got glasses, people won't see the tears. And then you'll be able to go back to your region. This is the most important thing that I believe you, as a leader, having established an organization as beautiful and big as this, 
I'd like to say in my own authority as you say as your spiritual leader I would like to to confirm my support to the establishment of this organization allow me to say to, to receive to, to say to appreciate a few friends of yours who come Dr. Mala, when we first formed organizations, was my chairman of the nation of the United Reformed Council. And then when we found we found another organization, Bidacoso Churches, became his chairman, was chairman again. And who was was chair, yeah? was chairman? Uh, was it Dr. Serwada? Somebody like that. And then this one was my presenter on television. Is I Mbuga. Mbuga was your presenter. For many, many years uh, until I pulled him away from there so that he may begin to preach the good news. <laughs> thank you very much for coming. Yes, I'd like to thank to stop here but uh, thank you very much indeed for uh, establishing us here and in the country and in the world and inviting your friends to be able to see the inauguration. God bless you. Thank you, Professor. I want to call Bishop Abedi to come and say, Watch out. Several young way of getting every gamble between any other kids at the time. Hey, Nedavide, Bishop. Okay. Let us do it and we'll finish it well. Would you give it up for Bishop Abedi to Wanika to come and say a few things? He knows that uh, I fear the title of bishop, uh, but uh, it is well with me. <laughs> I want to congratulate uh, Bishop Overseer, Michael Chaze, and the entire team. I've known Pastor Bishop Michael in, in the agendas of unity for the church for a long time and uh, I have no worry I am very confident that God is going to use him at such a time like this I just w want to request him and the entire team that what Uganda needs now is for the church to be in the lead don't allow, never make a mistake again for the politicians to be in the lead of the church. Never. It must be the church to lead to be in the lead. Secondly, we are a nation so special. Called for revival. We are center of revival on the African continent. Let this organization lead us into that revival. We have waited for so long. We have talked about the revival. We have waited. Let this organization lead us in that revival. We want to see the gospel again in the countryside, in the city. Lastly, I don't do movements very often. No. There have been so many movements. May have been a member of the National Fellowship of Born Again Pentecostal Churches for many years. I made a decision. It is my decision to move. And I want to declare today I belong here. I belong here. I belong here. I will talk I'll talk to our churches. Um, I'll talk to our churches. I'll talk to my friends. When I move, I don't move alone. No, I don't move alone. I'll move with those that believe in what I believe in. I want to congratulate you, and I wish you well. I thank you so much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We want... Would you give another round of applause for our... I want to invite Dr. Nathan Ibrahim from 
Mbarara to come and say something as well. Dr. Nathan is my buddy. To go to the reza. Yes, you Bishop Michael, congratulations. To us, Marohanga, Wawe. Come up, cause I say, come up, conjure in Babazi, can on your queen, Monsieur. Just only three words. Everybody remember Jesus went up and the Holy Spirit came down. And the saints went out. What happened? And the sinners came into the church. Let me believe that you have formed this group or this ministry not to sit down and make a good religion. Let's be an organization that will be able to go and give the devil a hard time. We are all born again in this place, but don't think all people outside there are all born again. We still have millions and millions and millions in hell. The only way we can help them is to go out where the sinners are and bring them to the cross. And I believe in you and I trust you and you have great men here who can give the devil a hard time. Again, congratulations, sir. Thank you. I will work with you. I will give my support any way possible and we work together in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Nathan, Ibrahim, and me often do the things of God together. And regardless whatever people think, that's the way we shall continue. It's my pleasure to overcome my area. Okay. Uh, I, I wanted to invite... Okay. The chief guest is coming with my dearest of all. We've been married for the last 35 years. She fell in love with a horror. I, I used to look like a ghost. She cast the ghost out. <laughs> Sorry. I have come with my mom. I want her to say hi to you before... Praise God. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. You are all looking so lovely. Yes. I love you so much. <laughs> this is a mistake you did. Which one? You. Uh -huh. Which one? Yeah. The mom did not speak. Yeah. But then she has Sorry, I've been ambushed by my pastor. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you for standing with my dear, I call him my pastor, my husband, my honey. Thank you so much for all the contributions you've made. And I know with you, you are going to stand with him in each and everything. Mm -hmm. We love you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah! <laughs> he wants to introduce the Where's the picture? <laughs> Yes, my, another club for Mabi. <laughs> now the, another thing, another thing. Yes. Because of this gathering. Yes. Please allow me to do this. Uh -huh. I'm taking the special leaders, the people who are with you. 
10 of them to come for the meeting of August, oh, October. Yes. To my camp meeting. We are paying them the ticket. <laughs> the chairman and the other. So, because I want them to learn something so that when they come back, they should move. Hallelujah. So, ten of you, ten of the us, the chairman, the what, 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 ten of you, we are paying without left in this one. Oh, I come with the Christine. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and anyone who comes yes. without the wife don't uh, come. So how do you count 10? That's 20. Because you if you, you come one. with you are one. if it is you are one. One? That's 20. Nalo ngogolola husuti. Come, come. The chairman, the whatever, the, uh, what, the treasurer, please, I'm inviting you to my place. They have wife. accepted. They never said no. Come, come, come. Mobukawa Kubi, the common Galoche, no more. Where's my chairman? And where's me? Ten of you. Nemukuru, Nemukuru, no one, Nemukuru Joseph. Okay, now Bawedeo. count them. One, two, three, four, five, eh? five six, seven, eight. Yeah, Muka, man. Nedam, Mosoke, Mosoke, Paulo. Since I've heard I've been a Ten of them with their wives. Amina. Thank so you very you, much, Bishop, for because you said you have invited me and you have given me the land. Yes, my brother. Thank you. God bless you. So let them come and enjoy Tanzania. Oh, you know, Kubala, what, 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 what? Write their names. They are 12. Buy the ticket for them. It is the number of the Lord. With their wives. I will pay their bill. Huh? I love you. Thank you, my brother. We love, we thank you for the invitation. Are you providing security? Our time is run first spent, but we cannot go without hearing from my area MP, uh, Honorable Selu Kenya Sebo Didu Dawamokuwa Nogu Wange. Honorable Wangono, Kulidwa Jawano Wabeda Wamo Kisa. Momo Kubide Komo Ngalo, Honorable Wange Ngadja. Sebo Dusanyu Senyo Kubanawe. You get a heavy gambo, Bitone Diabantubo. To to turn the cock winding up. Dagoni Bamote Maco Mucono, Bamote Maco, Bamote Maco Mucono, Dagoni Bamote Makin Singo, Nampe to Mutemia Cobulago, Dagoni to Mutemia Cobulago, Bamote Maco, Bamote Maco, Bamote Hallelujah. Never Zakatondo Nako Rualedo Dagon at a Medua Hochi Erakatonda Vada to Sakasi, so Tuba Gayara Yari Sene Yeruani Diranga Ye. When you get it or not, when you get it up, a Boston, while we can say Yakubi Dola Dunga Yakamaro who got Tavisiaga. 
Nemu kama angabu wali umulamu Parlamenti ya Uganda Dago ni ya mtemie kumu tuwe Nino tuchinyueze za Sente buwe ingire guanga Angerike chikuwa Najiri na akaba Chovola wa avali na babodegad Atebe vato singo kutia Avali na sente Atebe vali mkwela likirida Na ye obutu kilifu buwe ingira Nebuwa na katonu kabe elera Atene muke ya gadiramu Hallelujah No Rachel never za katonu na kuruwa elero Omsaji ya wakatondo ono Nze Kwengo elera I imitate him Yabuli le njiri ngandi muto Yabuza is your covenant saved or shaved Yari yabuli la kusamsoni wabamwa Indagano ye Nensala woku loko le yango Kufolo sida anga mabega Hallelujah Era mwenve yon zike wano nenyo Nenzida yon empereza mumanya agomo yomu tukufu Teri agenda tukulate tugenda kwe kiriranya Yesu ye mukama Tugenda jivu ulira Ali tukosene bifobi ya febiobu kule embeze Ekanisa ya mukame tereze vwe Hallelujah Ngampaya kazi ndalo Njegalo muwani kajiko wano Orwenta andi kweno Nange ntade ya kakade Registration forms are behind there in the tent So when you, walk out, when you walk out Please pick one form and apply the pronchures, we have the pronchures and the flyers also outside there. We can pick them and be able to do something. Read and know the information around COP. So grateful. We are winding up, winding up so uh, we are doing everything quickly. I want uh, to take this opportunity uh, to announce that we have got uh, another gift from Equity Bank, Uganda. I don't know where they are, Equity Bank. Uh, Mr. Sam, please come. It's a good bank to work with. It's a, a reliable bank. Please give them a hand clap. And so I'm going to allow him to do to say a few things. And praise the Lord. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time. That is His good nature. Wow. Amen. My name is Samuel Kazova from uh, Equity Bank. And for us as Equity Bank, we are so grateful because we are the people as a Christian bank who normally support the Christian organizations. Amen? So we are so grateful for COP. And um, we are going to look forward to seeing how we can be able to support as much as possible. Like, uh, like I think I would also like to challenge that the COP can immediately also embark on a project which we can be able to support in Pola and Pola, like how the Church of Uganda had the church house. People talked about us, for us we kept quiet until when the church house now is remaining with only 14 billion out of 59 billion. Amen? And therefore I would like also to ask you, I identify a project because I know this is going to be you need a project to support the mission of the church. Amen? Amen? So that you can be able to support slowly and see what you can be able to do. As a bank, we are going to look forward also to see how we can sow a seed. I've asked him to write a letter so that the church, I mean the bank, can also contribute to the movement of the people across the country. Amen. And we shall ask, lastly, is that uh, as you are aware, all the equity accounts do not have monthly charges. Yes. And we are moving forward because this is already implemented in Kenya. That churches will be able to deposit and withdraw without any money being charged on them. So we pray that it can really come so that because churches are, are non-commercial organizations. So we look forward to seeing how we can continue supporting you. But apart from that, we shall use our account to make sure that people can support him individually. So that you don't have to wait for a fundraising. Even if someone has 500 shillings, he can send from his phone up to the account. 
So we are going to do that one. We are going to put what we call a merchant code so that you are able to send from your account. People do not have to wait for such a fundraising, but if they, even if they have 500, they can keep on sending the kiddo or the rwasa. So at the end of the day, you can have the mass and we have some money which can be able to support uh, the program. Individually, we are also looking forward to seeing that how we can be able to help Mwena mwena banangi musobolo kuja ne mugula wa county Account yoko jigula wa yabwerele Outside here is even free of charge Wobo ine national ID osobolo kujigula wa And the very very last Tuagala church Ewele na abantu abayino vunani zikwa Basobola okubera nga Bayambe kanisa Nenga bayina individual projects Tuina sente ze tuwayo Five million without any security Nadala ba youth na ba chiara Muje, we banga mwine projects of Mukanisa, individually, over groups, over choir members, over Father's Union, over Mbaine. You come and see how we can be able to support. So God bless you. I congratulate you, uh, Pastor Chaze, being the patron of this group. And we shall continue supporting your programs wherever you are. Even if you are in the western region, you call us. We can have always a seed of contribution and we can also move with you so that you can be able to see us moving together as partners. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. We have a tent outside there. If you want any of our contacts, you can be able to reach on us. Kubanga, Tuyamba Nama Kanisa Malala, outside Kampala, across Uganda. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, um, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Isaiah Mbuga, and I'm the Secretary General. So I'm in charge of uh, registering churches and individuals. And we have a tent outside there. You can leave when you've registered. Application fee is 10,000. You can pay it by mobile money. Or you can pay it in cash. There is a receipt. Or you can fill in the form. If you don't have the money, when you send the money to that number, we'll be able to activate your registration. Now, it would be very important for you to leave this place. If you're a pastor and you're coming from up country, it would be important for you to leave when you have registered. And we're just out there. There are people ready to register you. So we are very glad that you're on board. And uh, the numbers, we are going to be registering you according to your regions. Uh, we have uh, several regions, and for us, we'll know. Then we'll give you a number, and we'll also give you an email that you can use to contact us anytime. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. I would like to take this opportunity to invite a few people to say a word or two. I want to acknowledge the presence of Dr. Kasiwe. Please come and greet the people of the Lord. As uh, Bishop Yamukama also gets himself ready to come and say a hello to the people of the Lord. I didn't hear the hand clap. This is a man of God. <laughs> they say Mukama yeva zibwe Mukama afe yeva zibwe Mukama yeva zibwe Tuba za katondo Naku nolu watu wa dolu wa lero Okulutu tusako Mukanda wangi Mutume chaza Irudawa Kari Mitinga na jarimu Aaaa Dawudi wawa vamo simu no, ino vivi gambo, viale kera Solomon mutabani we. Mukanda wangu chazu jango kwa nataki. Mukanda wangu chazu ulgeni rafiri wadero wamvu moko, kuwa miaka jomo china ano mo. Ngatutambo lugendo na lugo kiriza. Nyumba denga mbapa luganda wano. Dawudi wali vamo simu no. Ebi mo kubi gambo biya kote das mtabani wa Solomon yamu gamba nti weka kasinga ukubeba umusajja abantu bangi abali wanunavali yeyo 
balinda kweka kasako selo gwensonga obaba na peda ku chino obwe chitundu ku chino ichigenda mazo gogendo kubere ensonga boneka kasa okubanti okwiti wako kunywezeza banji bajja kutambula nawe mu lugendo luno na yenga tusanyuse nnyo runako no lwalero ntunga bisatu byenyinzo okufukulekera nga muganda wange nti be a voice not an echo of a voice be the voice of change be the voice of true christian leadership be a voice of inspiration that can inspire and inspire pastors to be the best they can be but also to fulfill the calling of god on their lives and so we bless you and we are praying for you we pray god's blessing upon you in Jesus' name Sebo Bishop Kaziwe, Echibina Chino Wechatu La Luri, Chalichi Saba, Okirize, Overe Ambassador Wacho Mo Canada, Nadejimazana Kwebu, Zacha Saba Busavi, Eranichi Saba, Nichin Amba, Nkutu Seko, Certificate ya Fe, Ea Membership, Eri Honorary. Genda Jikua. E your honorary certificate e a diaspora atenge kusaba no buwe resovo go gendo kuba number bidi seb monsiona sebo ono kiriza uksaba kwa pe gana ngi chaza anta deko sporti mu 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 ndo zanti tujja kutula mwa ambuli de chiche cha chategeza chichiche chitwala kubanga baganda bafe banji abali ebwerwe yo beta ago kunnyonyola baluzungu lunji lunji ruko so beta age bintu binji nyo kubanga abasingo bunji ebife na Uganda ebye kanisa tebiba kwata konnyo ni wangu badenga abasinga bava wano kati neta agantule ne mugana ange chaze ampitire mu chichategeza chiche chitwala ndoza stese za bobi ninga tujja kuogera se sebo nina abantu mukama be yawa manya gogero luzungu nina mwa mwa midiki huli nina oyo we muwereze Canada na yogero lufute fute Baja bite gira. Wanale mwa. Nja kuwele za mati ni sempa. Aja kujane kondere. Mati ni sempa baja mufu na mwabu zibu. Aliru adiko. Banange ono ye, ye ambasada wa femo Canada. Wetu joku saba. Mori nyeri ya yesu. Sebo weba lenyotu wagala na ukube na uru alero. God bless you sebo. Bishop ya muka masebo wajia kazi ndari Ranga wajia wati Agenda kusabile mele tukende tulie mele Pastor Mike atukusamu HT wa sebo Tukulaba njia kusaba Ouwile kubantu Pastor Mike e, Msumba Mike atukuagala nyomu Ninyari ya muka mafe weba likuja sebo Ganga and said Daniel Yamukama, Vida Iganga, Trevor Zamukama, or Shedda Chatuade, Neko, Okubanga, Ezari Pra, Mutongoli, Morin Yaria Yesu, Omana Katondo, Madam Ah, Nagaloka, the Katonda, Kuramun Nabarivano, another Katondo Rabanto, which was then Abo, Okuva, Iganga, Kalido, Ah, Chibuku, Uguere. Buyende, Luka, Obabaliwa, Batu Bireko, Deni, 
muevare ino muevare 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 kuida muevare kubao thank you so much katweba zesi chitafe tuwa galu kweba za uruwe chokulia chotu wade tukusabo chitukuzo chomu kisa na mikono jitegese ojomu kisa tuchirie chitukore burunji mbirija fe suburo kupela na amani okuwe reza morinye da yesu kristo mwakama wa fe amen Chairman jango tulonga miengeli jetu genda mokumele Ne haba saini inga Haba saini inga Vela watembo kujo saini inge Wosobolo kusaini inga to remain historical Ate brochures Zili mkutambula o kumeza Applications jezirieye mabegabu No genda yo jakusanga yo formu Jo inzo kupikinga no juza No jireka o Obabo obo genzi na yo kakasa ando koma o kolachi Ojitu usa kusekutariet Esoboro kola chi Okubera recorded Abangambi nefo muzi muziri na okumeza So musoboro ziko soboro unji Otherwise MC Hallelujah Mukama yeba zwe Mukama yeba zwe Ok Kasera ka chijuro chafe Tupe gairi de Temuva wonga Mwuli de chijulo cha muamina Tukina kupira nga tutuandi kano kusitu laba genyi Aba kuru saidi eno Aba gende kumukono kwa ngu kwa kono Ate kumukono kwa dio Ngena kusaba kachiko Aka kulembeza kakopu Kagena kupira nga teka tukulembira msaidi eno Tukina kujeje mwuli Tupasitu le menza kumenza Tusu vizo ukuita mubu wangu Temugenda kanda alirizibwa Kunsongeyo Amina Amina Kari Worship team Gina kupira nge Weleza jetuli Tusoburo kupira nga Tuangu yu muli muguno Gwa kupira nga Tuweleza Munsonga yu vyo kulia of God, a mighty warrior, declaring war, here is command, you are the chosen generation, a mighty force in this land, all of creation. All of creation now is waiting To see the righteous To see the righteous take the stand Moving out in his unknown 